Good afternoon, Pro Wrestling fans, and welcome to an all-new episode of The Pro Wrestling Show. I got a great show for everyone this week, and I got a great show got a great show this week for everyone. This week is the fallout, the results from last Sunday's from last Sunday's historic Extreme Rules from the Extreme Rules pay per view event live from the WWE Network, and we're gonna start off with the Extreme Rules kickoff show. In the very first ever We LC kickoff match between it with L between Los Matadores' own El Torito taking on three and B's one half of three and B Hornswoggle. These two went at it and they put on an exciting kickoff show match. Before the historic Extreme Rules extravaganza kicked off, and it was a very amazing match. This match was very good, like I wanted to, like I wanted, and it was very good. Your winner from this match was El Torito of Los Matadores. He won the kickoff match, heading into. The 2014 Extreme Rules pay per view to kick off the to kick off the night at Extreme Rules. In in your second match of the evening, it was a triple threat match between the Real American Jet Swagger, the King of Swing, Cesaro, taking on Mister Pay Per View, Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam made the five-star frost blast connected to the Real American Jack Swagger to eliminated Jack to make it a one-on-one match between Ar- between him and the King of Swing Cesaro. Your winner of the triple threat match, the King. Well, actually, this match was a DQ. So. Cesaro won the match because he was too aggressive on Rob Van Dam. So, well, hang on, hang on. Well, yeah, Cesaro, yeah, the King of Swings, Cesaro did win. But other than that, it was a great match from the start to the finish. In your third match of the evening, it was the handicap match between the Bulgarian brute, Alexander Rusev, taking on the likes of the likes of our uh, partners, our truth Xavier Woods. Now this was a great match from the beginning to the finish. Turns out at the beginning of this match that the Bulgarian brute of Alexander Usev, he sort of threw out, he sort of threw Xavier to the steel of the steel of the ring where the um, where you see the strings from the canvas, and Xavier Woods hit his head and got himself injured. The EMTs came at ringside to check on Xavier. But, your winner of the handicap match, the Bulgarian Brute, Alexander Rusev, after the camel clutch submission to our truth Alexander Rusev was victorious. Now, going into the, your next matchup of the evening, it was time for the Intercontinental Championship match between... Between... Between Bad News Barrett himself, Wade Barrett taking on the lights of the former Intercontinental Champion, Big E. Now this match was very good, also from start from start to finish. Big E had most of the offense in this match. So did Big E. Um, so did Bad News Barrett. Bad News Barrett uses his uses his um his bull hammer his bull hammer elbow 
for the win and your new WWE Intercontinental Champion, Wade Barrett. Is your new Intercontinental Champion. And he was impressive in the match, like I thought. Hang on one second. Okay. Now, in your next match of the evening, it was your... In, it's one of your main events of the evening. It was six-man tag. Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins up the shield. Taking on the reunited Evolution. Triple H, Rent... Yeah, that's right. The Animal Batista. The King of Kings. The King of Kings. The Game. The Cerebral Assassin. He is the COO of the WWE Triple H. And the Viper, Randy Orton. And I gotta tell you, this six-man tag match was a very good match from start to finish. High, really good momentum from all six men. And some really amazing high flying from the likes of Seth Rollins as he dove off, as he dove off, as he did a crossbody to Triple H, on 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 the Triple H outside in the audience. And I gotta tell you, that was an amazing match from start to finish. The winners of the evening: Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose of the Shield. The Shield made its dominance on Evolution, and they will mark more history of the WWE in the near future. Now, we go to your Divas Championship match. It was the likes of the legendary Hall of Fame daughter of Jimmy, the Superfly Snooker, the lovely Tamina Snooker taking on my favorite fighter of the WWE, Paige. That's right, she is an incredible athlete, so is Tamina. Some great offense from both Tamina and Paige, but I gotta tell you, very good, very great Divas action in the pay-per-view, but your winner, by via submission of the Scorpion Lock, the one and only Paige retains your the Divas Champion. Now that will lead to your main event of the evening. It was the Big Red Monster. The return of Big Red Monster Kane going one on one with the Yes movement of Daniel Bryan. Now I want to tell you this is a extreme rules match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Now, these guys made an, an amazing match. Totally extreme, like we haven't, haven't seen in a long time in the WWE. They were at ringside. They were in the ring. And they even went all the way backstage. Backst yeah, at backstage. And well, we saw, let me think, we saw, let me think again, we, I think we saw a, uh, hmm, I believe we saw, uh, I believe a crowbar, a fire extinguisher, and also, and also, uh, oh, and we also saw a machine where Daniel put Kane onto to bring him back in the ring to conclude your main event of the evening. Now, we haven't seen a flaming table for a while. We haven't seen that since, let me guess, uh, WrestleMania 22. Hall of Famers. The Rated R Superstar Edge. And Mick Foley. We haven't seen that in a while. As, as you see, that Kane put gasoline on the table, and lit it on fire. Now, as you see, Daniel Bryan put Kane, put the lights of Kane into that flaming table, where Kane was lit on fire, but 
took him out less than two seconds with the Friar Singlers. Daniel Bryan with the speed kick wins the match and retains your WWE World Heavyweight Champion of the World. And I gotta tell you, that was an amazing Extreme Rules match. I have that was an amazing Extreme Rules match like I've seen in a long, long time. Well, that's gonna do it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in for the personal show this evening. Uh, has been a great show. Mm. Has been a great show this week. So, it, <clears throat> for those that you want to you wanna follow me on social media, okay, you can add me on Facebook at Mattman Nelson. If you want to follow me on Twitter, all you got to do is follow me at MattNelson83. I'll be happy to talk some pro wrestling with you. Get to know you on Twitter as well. And also... Also, just subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. And watch all my episodes from episode 1 to episode 48. And you will have a ball. You get some dinner, get whatever you need, and enjoy the program. Well, that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy last night's live encore edition of WWE Main Event. And get ready for Teenage Impact Wrestling live from Orlando, Florida tomorrow night. I'll see you this coming Monday of the next person to promo, and I will see you right back here on this same day. On the same day, the regular time as usual, and I will see you next Wednesday. Have a great night, everyone.